on, buddy? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Fortnite Creative on the block. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we welcome you back. I appreciate you guys coming to hang out today. Hopefully, uh, you guys like what you see. And um, you know, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Always got new action coming out. Love for you to see. You know, like when it comes out, I got a lot of new ideas I want to share after we finish even this build. So this series isn't going anywhere. And I appreciate the. Wow. Okay. Appreciate the support thus far. Um, and you know, if you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit the bell so you get the notifications when stuff goes up. So here we go. So I have spent an extraordinary uh, large amount of time getting the interiors of everything together. And I, let me get put a gun on so I can run around and look like, like I know what the heck I'm doing. It actually looks a little better too. Um, we've done, there's some straightaways in areas. You have corners to hide in, then in several like of the towers, you have multiple sections. That, that switch up and change. So it's, it's got like different options for the kind of play. Uh, there, again, there are some straightaways here and there, which I wanted to include uh, going between some of the towers. What we're gonna end up doing is probably have some areas come out to the courtyards. Uh, this way, let's just go fly mode, it's a little faster. And with the bigger towers in the back, we have multiple entrances going up different flights of stairs to get to the top, second floor has this to reach back into the, the hallway and the exterior. There's also this leading to the enclosed one that leads to the next tower. Um, this leads up to the top. And outside here, we have all the railings up around all the stairs throughout the entire build. Every corner should have its corner piece placed up as well. If you can't see it from a distance, it's because it doesn't render it until you get a certain point. Um, and these builds, I, th I think it's pretty, I'm pretty excited about that because inside of here in this doorway, that leads to outside, but we have this leading through that one there, but this actually leads inside the cell block area on the third floor. So it, it gives another strategic entrance like that. I do like these areas, thinking about it in a BR type of sense, because they do have openings to build up at. There's also lots of places for cover in different kinds of ways. Because if you're up here and you're trying to shoot down there, there's options to hide behind things to get you know out of the way. So it offers some sort of different, I feel like, different kind of cover options. Uh, the pens themselves will have stuff in them uh bathroom stuff maybe some mattresses if i can find them and things like that and then there are some rooms that have uh, i don't think i did on the top floor yet that have only one deep which leaves rooms on the back side of this for uh possibly loot things i don't know what what uh, epics you know going to do i don't even know if this is going to win or anything like that i've redone the back i decided i need to change this right now too there we go. So now we can have trucks that can go up there. I filled in the side there. I added some light in the top, so it's it's fully there. Let's get inside. If I can get inside, there we go. And then in here, we have a large... Uh, I put these in the second row, so you can't really... You know, you can shoot through it, but like it, you, you can't really get out. You can have to go to the top of the bottom. So even if you're stuck in the middle, there is a way to get out if you can get over to the stairs to get up. So just trying to leave some type of strategic implementations of everything. This portion leads into the bottom floor of the penitentiary. And then I left only one door going into here, which we haven't done anything with because we haven't decorated yet. We're still got to do the decorations. This side is uh, like a symmetrical. There's a couple little differences here and there, but it it's symmetrical. Also, we have a front office. I'll probably put a bathroom in here. Maybe I have a door on the other side for the bathroom. Okay, so I still need to do that. I, I understand. I, I gotcha. And then up here, we have like two other offices. One has a window, one doesn't. So it offers that the same thing as on this side. We've gotten that. So it's, 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 it's moved into a good position. So now it is time to work our way towards building some of the side stuff. I want to put in a, a rec area for the inmates on one side, and then we'll do another form of storage and stuff there. This is in itself, you can see the block line comes through and it goes away as you get closer. This is going to include like parking spaces and all that for visitors and incoming inmates and stuff like that. And as you can see below, we're at 23,000 memory. I cleared out all the prefabs and I got rid of almost all the individual pieces except for a couple ceilings I wanted to save. And then a couple of these. I still am going to have to bring in prefabs to do some changes. So, you know, you know, like uh, I say changes just so I have more some of the the decor prefab or galleries don't have everything in them so you have to still dig through some of the prefabs at this moment when this video is recorded to get all of the stuff the juicy stuff let's go ahead and get into it though i'm going to go into prefabs and i'm going to pull out the they have a court in here 
Where is it? I probably I already passed it. I know I already passed it. Where are you? Is that there? That's the club, isn't it? There's the club. There's the basketball court there. Equip that. Let's see what we have. So we do have some basketball goals. They do have some lines on this. Is this movable lines? No, those are part of the ground, which is fine by me. So this will let me do something similar there. I don't want to copy this prefab, but we'll go ahead and get it into the the map first to see what we can get worked out. So this spot is a is a four by four. So that's already adding some interesting things. I think what we'll do is put the court like this. And that one has a different corner now. Okay, no, it doesn't. So this is like that. So if we rotate you like Z there and then does that do it? No. So we need R. Yes. And then R for that. And we'll come out another one and we'll come out here and then we'll bring you forward. And then one, two, three. There's that. Then we'll take these guys. Uh, is this wrong? Yeah, it felt like it would be. Yes. That's right. So that starts the beginning of that court. Court. Uh, let's go into here and grab one of the paint free ones. Let's grab you. And then put this in the middle of that. And that kind of gives us some sort of area. Okay, so I already can tell I need to move this over one. I feel like this is. We need to get it off that wall on that side and have like maybe some more of the fencing going up there. Let's grab you, put you there, put you there. We need to grab you, put you here. There we go. We need to move you over one. Move you over one. Move you over one. And then take, wow. This guy again. Wait, what's happened? What? Oh, I have the wrong one there. That's why. And this one goes here. And then take these uh, clear ones here and put that in the middle of that. And then we should be good to go. Okay, so uh, let me grab the fencing from this. Put that around here. And then over here, uh, we will also add fencing. Maybe we should do this. I mean, we do have inmates in here, so we got to keep the inmates in, hence inmates in, in, inmates. Let's do that and grab that corner. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That way it kind of it keeps it as a corridor air. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's use these guys then. Didn't mean to do that. Obvious, obviously. And then put you back in front of there. Okay, cool. That works too. That at least makes it look a little more, yeah, better on the back end of this. Okay, so we have that in line. This is here. And, uh... Let's get some of the walkway stuff. Uh, I've been using that as ceilings over here. We'll grab those. Put them on the ground. Just to get started. I try to rotate some while placing these so it kind of mixes up how they look. Uh, so it's not like this consistent, like the same exact thing every time type thing. We'll leave that open maybe for some grass. Uh, I wish we had grass blocks or something. We'll choose something to be designated as the grass blocks. Uh, maybe we need to grab one of these and put them in here in the middle-ish. Maybe put one like on each side. Okay, so we have that. The court looks a little bit long. Hmm, maybe that size was good. We'll bring this, let's bring this over one more that way then. There we go. So that has given us a nice little play area. We have an opening there. It gives a little bit extra opening on that side. 
tempted on putting a door right there too to lead to the pens and we'll probably end up doing that and maybe a door there i'm not sure let's see what's available on the side oh yeah we're good to go if we do that okay actually it might be pretty cool to put one here instead and then that way we can kind of keep the doors lined up uh with these ones in here oh, let me in let me in let's grab you And pretend that this is always locked. Maybe we could. Oh, I know what to do. Let's mirror, rotate. Let's put a fence around this too, and this will be like so inmates can't get to it. So there's a little entrance into that. Uh, we'll do the same thing over here somewhere as well. Um, maybe right in that spot. Let's go here, down to there. Let's go over here. Let's open. Let's grab that door. That's the door we're looking for. Oh, yeah. And mirror. There we go. So now this one also is going to need some sort of protection. Uh, maybe we can make this like a little alley corner. This is a this is a jail. So we need to make sure that our jail is in, in, in you know, is, is looking real secure. At one time. Okay, maybe we will focus in. I don't know. We'll just put that there for now. It's kind of bothered me seeing it like that. Okay, so we have a couple of entrances into here. We need to make the entrance from the prison itself whenever the cell, the, the mate, inmates are allowed to go out and play. It's a nice spot. So we have that. Now, I should have... Please tell me I grabbed one of these. Is there a door door? That is the door door. Excellent. Let's grab this door door and put it over here, here. Like that, that. All right, so can we rotate you and it look different? Uh, it looks worse that way. Okay, so we'll do it like that. Um, I don't mind it being on that side. Maybe we can add another door here. Like this, pull you over here, mirror. Now there's gonna be debris and rubble and stuff too, so this, these corridors aren't gonna be always completely open. All right, we got some stuff shaped out that's really good. I'm happy about that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toy around with this some more, get some things done, and when we will come back when we're ready. So y'all hold on. Welcome back. And I decided instead of doing too much more with that, cause that's gonna take more decorating. And I like to come back to the decorating once I pull out more prefabs to get this area looking better. So I decided to leave it as is, and we're going to work on the other side now. And this is where the storage is going to be, like the incoming, like big storage type stuff, I think. Uh, well, kind of the idea. I don't know. And I want to build a little, like, shelter thing outside. So I use the iron frames that we normally use, uh, you know, for reinforcing areas to build, like, a little, like this little shack thing here. Hmm, I think I would rather go up another level with it. And maybe put racking up too. Let's use the cross out sections uh, that are inside of here. Uh, I guess I can go like this. Grab a copy of you and then make it through the entire build over to there again. This way, then we're going to go over here, then we're going to go this way, and then over here. And I missed the turn. Uh, there's no doorway for it yet. Oh my god. Uh, we got to go up then. Make a decision, John. Go up. Okay, we're going to go up. Hello. I can't break any walls or do anything with this i wish i could get like a ghost mode that would be really nice i think that would probably be a great addition to have a ghost mode with this so we can just fly through stuff all right we've got you let's put this uh, maybe we can just do the corners with it like that and then um i'll look at doing some more things i probably want to get some of the support looking beams that go with it the little triangles uh, but I had to pull out again another set of stuff. That's the one I went to the flat one. Or the flat one here, and we will turn it to where it is that way. That's exactly how I wanted it. And then it will give it kind of, again, like a little quick warehouse look to it. And it's a start. Can't say it looks amazing at all yet, but we, it's a start. Getting a start is better than not doing anything at all, right? Uh, to get this, I guess we are going to decorate a little bit because it's going to take some stuff to get this happening. And I want to make it to where, 
you know, we have kind of like not the, the, the field of view is blocked a lot through here. It's not really all that it's been slam packed full of stuff that has an open front and back. So we'll get the closed back one here and maybe throw it in as well. Maybe something like that and kind of have it to where it's like kind of jacked up in here. And I also would like to have it. Does this not have an opening either side? It doesn't. Does it open when you No. So that might be better to be put on top of something. All right, we'll put this over here for now and get you and maybe hopefully it'll change colors. It hasn't changed colors yet. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. That one changed colors. All right, so we'll get rid of you. I don't want to have like all the same colors next to each other. Can you get through that? You can. And it does block line of sight decently well. All right, let's grab another one here and turn it around some. Like maybe, yeah, maybe somewhere like, let's do like this maybe. Now I wonder how good we can angle something here too. Let's rotate this towards matching the angle and then see if we can rotate this axis to some, oh, it's, it's, this is the other type. So that's not going to work. Okay. Let's get rid of you and let's grab a closed one here. Let's grab it squared up already and see if I can just do this. There's that. Actually, we need to turn this like that and see if we can do it like this. Nope. So we need to change it to pitch and then rotate you with the yaw. Let's see if we can make this happen. Looks like it needs to rotate one more, maybe. Oh, we might be able to make it. Let's let's rotate one more. Actually, it was this like that? Now we can go to y'all and put it on here, maybe. Let's do a drop is on. Okay, so let's get closer. One more closer. And then maybe get some of these containers. Now I've pulled out the industrial set and why I put them on floors is if I just destroy the floors, it'll get rid of all the stuff sitting on top of it pretty much, which will make my life a little bit easier in trying to clean up pieces. Uh, I prefer that <laughs> as much as we're pulling stuff out, putting it back in, it just really would help out a lot. So that looks pretty good like that. So let's put one right here. Does it actually look like it's on it? It doesn't. Let's pull off the grid snapping. Pick you up all the way and move you in a little bit. So it looks like it's supporting it some and grab another one of the boxes that match it like this one. And then maybe put another one of them right here. It'd be cool if we could like had a limited amount of sizes. We could change these two. So it kind of mix it up more, but Hey, I'm not going to complain. I need to get some barrels too. I don't have any for here and kind of like dirty this up some. So when you're at this point, you can't necessarily see back there. Actually right now we're doing okay with just that minimal amounts. we we'll also have vehicles in here and stuff. Uh, but I know that the truck bed, the semi truck bed costs a lot. Like when I pull out the prefab or the gallery with all the cars in it right here, it does take up a lot. And let's see when we get a copy of you. There we go. 35,000. So added 6,000 alone. And what does this cost when I put it? It's not that horrible. It says, huh? 59. Hmm. It was giving me worse when on the other map, it was doing something weird then because it was costing a few hundred, several hundred actually. So maybe we could fit this guy on the side here. Let's turn back on grid snapping and just fit him in here. Some So let's rotate it around. So it looks like it actually could be backed in here and turn off the snapping now. Oops. Okay. So we have to do that. So let's pull this back. I don't want it to be perfectly in here. 
Kind of wanted to be a little jacked up placed in here. Now, can I place a box underneath it? That's not big enough. That's going to be an interesting challenge in itself to get that tied in. Uh, do we have anything else? That's a, This one looks a little... Oh, that's an AC unit. Does anything look a little taller? We have pallets too. We'll have to be put a bunch of pallets out there. We'll have pallets throughout the whole build along with other, like, I would think, mat requirements for the, you know, BR type things. I'm trying to think about that more. Oh, that almost looks... Oh, my God. Hmm... And I'm not digging that square top still. Let's get some of the racking and put it in here. Turn on the grid. Let's make sure it's lined up with the build. These I'll leave like, like they're supposed to be lined up like this. At least have one side that's all completely full of these. It might help with how it looks. Yeah, I gotta toy around with that more to make it look right, I think. There needs to be more of a border from this 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 portion here. I don't think throwing these in all the way across are gonna look good enough. Maybe we need to get those diagonals on the front of this, and that would probably tie it in. It is. There it is. That's the one I was looking for. Not you. You. I knew I should have saved this piece from the other prefabs before getting rid of them. That helps out a ton. That helps out a ton for me. There we go. And we'll put a door like in here. We'll put some. Maybe we could do a garage thing right here. So when they're loading in stuff, that might be a good idea. Where is something that would match in there i don't want to do you there we have a garage door mm, mm, i don't want to use the other ones and there weren't any pieces there are no doors for this set except for that door in there which isn't going to work in this case in my opinion we need at least one of them to be opened up maybe we can try this well we already have some down here so let's remove like one of the bottom walls here like this one and just see we can finagle something. There's the edging. Let's grab that door. That's probably not big enough, but we'll try. Yeah, nowhere near big enough. Perfect! Hmm, I wonder if we could use... This guy with that to give it a border and then put this in its place. Let's come forward just a little bit. We'll get rid of the snapping then. And turn off the dropping. I kind of like that. Let's do two of them then. Now when I turn on the snapping, it should snap into how the other one was. So I should be able to place it in here. No. Yeah, we are... Is that right there? It won't look right or will it? No, it does look right. Excellent. We'll just do that then. That will make sure everything lines up similarly. We could go in and displace it a little bit if we need to, but there we go. This gives us a little loading bay. Hmm, maybe we ought to do all three then. That just leads into more of that. That might work out. Pull you, put you in here. It'll look more balanced, and then it'll make it really look like the loading area. Yeah, I like that. Maybe this one could actually be the door. Let's do the access door with this one. Okay, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we have a decent setup for this. And it kind of get, gets get the party started on things. I do like how this is here. Maybe 
this has that and we can might be able to put another entrance over here somewhere one of the access doors from the above area uh let's let's see what happens where are we at here hmm okay so that might be good for in here let's grab you let's go downstairs whoa whoa uh i i i uh uh can i uh, should be able to slide through. Wow, this, okay, that's an issue. That's an issue. I'm going to change those so they can get in and out decently fast. I'm not trying to make it more difficult than it needs to be. Uh, let's rot rotate that or mirror it. Oh, it's kind of buried back there. And this is another access that could be things here. We'll put some trash in like that. And that looks pretty good. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to like drag these things out, but I've had people ask me questions about how to do things. And I'm trying to make sure I cover what they would be like wondering, what I think they'd be wondering, you know, with this, how to do this. So I'm just trying to make sure I get everything that I you know could possibly cover in some sort of, you know, limited details. So you know where the, the thought process is, but that's a b basic start for this. And we had the base start for the basketball court. So I'm happy with how those are there. The, the we are now in decoration mode. Uh, I do have one other set of things I need to get built. These, these stairs that come up to the top. Once we finish decorating inside the prisons, we need to have little access points. So if people land on the roof, uh, there's ways to get inside without destroying uh, the the stuff so that I want to make sure there's good ways to get in across the board on this in case it is landed on uh, This one I do kind of like leaving it We're gonna have structures on like a uh, decorations like air handlers and stuff But this is kind of like you shouldn't have landed here spot type of thing unless you get underground underneath the ceiling real fast But then people can see that clearly so it's just trying to mix up how this thing works uh, in out here in the open space we'll be having a lot of cars and I'm gonna be putting on street lights and we will be probably doing some more things to add more diversion in here may have more of those cargo containers come out in this area to kind of block it up some you know the whole nine yards we're going to play around with it. we do have a decent amount of memory uh, i spawned in that club and i spawned in the other pieces but we really got a lot of more room than the other builds to really get things done so either way i'm glad that you guys are here I'm glad you guys could watch and um, as always thank you so very much and you guys have a good night